Hey guys, EC Network here, coming at you with another video. So I just finished watching Adventure Time Distant Lands on HBO Max, and I wanted to give you guys my full thoughts on it. As per usual with these videos, there will be spoilers at a certain point. Once the spoilers are coming, I will let you know. But overall, I thought that this was a good special. You know, it was really nice to see Finn and Jake again. If you've been watching my other videos discussing Distant Lands, you'll know that I'm not the biggest fan of it. I kind of don't see there being a point of it based on the stories that they're telling. But honestly, this time around, I thought that this was perfect. This was a perfect way to kind of say goodbye to Adventure Time again. And the reason for that is just because what happened in the episode so from this point on spoilers ahead you have been warned so the episode opens up with finn and jake stealing a tub of ice cream from a dungeon and the ice cream basically has 50 flavors inside and finn and jake get it they escape the dungeon and see that ice king has kidnapped the turtle princess and lumpy space princess basically he takes them into the ice king castle and he hooks them up to a device where if finn and jake save lumpy space princess turtle princess will die and if they save turtle princess then lumpy space princess will die which i never really remembered ice king being that that violent or actually endangering princesses i remembered him just wanting to marry them i don't actually remember him ever trying to kill one of them so that was kind of weird to me and at this point of the special i was confused i was like wait one second when is this taking place because i thought this was taking place after the finale but we see that ice king is still ice king and he hasn't been transformed into simon and also finn still has his arm turns out that finn is actually really old because then we it cuts forward to finn being really old and this is basically him having a flashback or having having a vision finn's like oh man he's like jake's been dead for so long i wish i could see him again and then it turns out that finn actually died finn is dead and we have a little bumper on screen saying finn and jake are dead and at this point i was like wow this is a really different take on this special i was expecting this to be basically finn and jake's last adventure where at some point during this special we'll see how jake dies and we'll see finn basically grow up without jake from that point onward but no finn and jake are both dead already and basically from from that point of the special to about the middle finn's on a quest to find where jake is he wants to reunite with jake in the underworld hence the title of this special being together again long story short along the way finn looking for jake we see a bunch of classic adventure time characters such as tree trunks tiffany I know, just to name a few, there's a ton of them in there. Some of them I don't even know the name to. So that was what I really liked about this special. It really seemed like kind of a callback to a lot of different things we saw in the show. Turns out that there's a new Death who is actually the son of Death and the son of... I don't know the name of the character, but she's a snake with two heads who's basically in charge of reincarnating people. In charge of basically recreating them into a new life. I don't know her name, but he, the new Death is the son of the old Death and this lady and so long story short he wants to basically destroy the underworld he wants to basically have everybody be miserable in eternity and so finn eventually reunites with jake he actually sees their parents and their brother jermaine which i thought was really great to see that was a great moment of the special and at this point it started to drag on a little bit once he finds jake they're kind of like all right how do we stop this guy we got to contact somebody in the real world they decide let's contact princess bubblegum and what was surprising is that princess bubblegum didn't answer it's actually peppermint butler wearing the princess bubblegum crown so that makes me wonder is princess bubblegum dead like what exactly happened to her and in addition to that he then tells her you got to see the life person which is death's mother and you got to see her to try to start death she's like all right i'll give you this stick the stick will kill death and you guys will save the day and save the underworld at this point of the special i was thinking to myself you know what it'd be really cool if we see the lich in this and we actually did see the lich it turns out the reason why the new death is acting so strange is because the lich has possessed him the lich was basically like listen finn you defeated me in the real world countless times but now we're in the underworld i'm going to defeat you and reach my goal and they end up this fox character i don't know the character's name but this fox ends up defeating death because basically they determine in order to defeat death what happens is whoever kills death then becomes death so finn and jake are like no i don't finn's like i don't want you to do this jake i want you to be free and jake's saying the same thing to finn i don't want you to do this i want you to be free let me do it they're fighting over who will kill death and the fox guy comes in he accidentally kills death and becomes the new death at this point of the special finn decides you know what jake 
It was great to see you again. It was great to reunite with you, but I am going to get reincarnated into a new person and have a new journey on my own. To f Jake is like, all right, I'll see you, man. And then he decides, you know what? I'm not going to do this. I'm going to go with you. And at the end of the special, we learn that Finn and Jake are being reincarnated together again. And so... Yeah, that was the entirety of the special. One other side note, I guess, is that Tiffany gets adopted by Finn and Jake's parents, but that's just a minor side note. But yeah, that was the entirety of the special. And like I said, I thought it was good. It was great to see all these classic characters I interacting with each other again. The only little down points or criticisms I have for the special is I was a little bit disappointed not to see Simon, Marceline, and Princess Bubblegum in this special. I would have been great if Finn and Jake got to reunite with them as well, but that didn't happen. The other thing that was a little bit weird to me is at the end of the special when Finn and Jake are about to be reincarnated. I would have liked to see who they come back is, you know, who are they reincarnated as. I was wondering after seeing it, hey, maybe they get reincarnated into those two characters that we see in the finale of Adventure Time. I don't remember their names, but they basically were the new Finn and Jake. So maybe Finn and Jake get reincarnated into them, but... That's up to interpretation because there is no concrete answer to that question, which I kind of thought was weird. I thought it would have been a nice like bow on Adventure Time to say, hey, the adventure ended with Finn and Jake, but the adventure is continuing with such and such character. I thought that that would have been nice to see, which we, we basically did get that in the finale, but I thought in this special that would have been a nice way to end it. But overall, like I said, I did enjoy this special. This is the one Distant Land special that I feel like we actually kind of needed you know we didn't need it per se but it was just nice to see it was nice to kind of send off these characters and say this is the end of Finn and Jake but we have one more distant land special left being the one with Peppermint Butler once we get more news on that I will let you guys know and I will have a review video of that whenever it comes out but anyways let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about distant lands together again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time